Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to fix Valorant FPS drops and lags. All right. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials. Now, first up, if you're running a low end PC, you can go ahead and close background apps right here. Just right click exit, right click exit, right click exit. Okay. Now, once that's done, make sure that your graphics card is updated. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my NVIDIA app right here. Yours might be different. You may have a uh, AMD or Intel, okay, graphics cards. So what you do is just go and find the drivers tab and then here just make sure to install the latest drivers. And once done, if your graphics card uh, got overlays like this one right here, make sure to disable it, okay? Once done, close this one. And if you do have any other uh, overlays, you can go ahead and turn them off, just like with Discord. You can go ahead over to Discord settings right here and just look for overlay. Okay, you have game overlay right here and uh, just disable it. Okay, Disa disable both. And once that's done, let's go ahead over to our search bar and type down game mode. Okay, click on game mode and make sure that you set this on. Okay, now once that's done, go ahead over to graphics, go to find Valorant. Okay, in the list right here, click on it. Make sure that the uh, GPU preference is set to your graphics card, high performance graphics card. Okay. Close this one. Now go ahead and find power plant. Choose a power plan right here. Make sure that you select high performance. Okay. And just keep it to balance because I work most of the time. Okay. But if I were to game all the time, I'm going to go ahead and select high performance. Now, once you have selected high performance, click on change plan settings right here, set everything right here to never and click on change advanced power settings. Okay. This pop-up will show and in here under um, processor power management, make sure that the uh, minimum. Now go ahead and go back to your uh, search bar and type down appearance. Okay. Now click on uh, just the appearance and performance of windows. Okay. This one will open. So what you'll do basically is just click on adjust for best performance. Okay. Click on it, hit on apply, hit on okay. Now go ahead and restart your computer, play the game and drops or lags should be gone now okay another option is by going in game so here we now have the game opened just go ahead over to the top right click on the gear icon click on settings now go ahead over to video right here you can either choose from a windowed full screen or full screen okay it's up to you now scroll down make sure that all these limits are turned off okay in here under limit fps always Mine, as you can see, is set to 177. Why is that? So I normally use 177, okay, because my monitor can handle 180 hertz, okay? So minus three, that's why it's 177. If you have a 144 hertz monitor, gotta use 141 right here as max FPS, okay? That is to reduce input lag, okay? That's a bonus for you. You have NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. If you're using GTX graphics drivers, make sure that it is turned off. Now, if you're using RTX mid-range to a lower range graphics card, just keep it to on. If you're using a high-end graphics card, you can go ahead and click on on plus boost. Okay. Once that's done, go ahead over to graphics quality. Now, if you want to see like a little bit of detail about the game, you can set the texture quality to high and leave everything to off, okay? Make sure that the multi-threaded rendering right here is enabled, okay? Now, Bloom right here is optional. And again, if you're using a low-end PC, click on the drop-down, hit on None, or FXAA, FXAA works perfectly fine, okay? Anisotropic filtering right here, keep it to 1x to 16x. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect your CPU or GPU that much, okay? And that's basically it. Once that's done, close the setting. And if I were you, I'm going to go ahead and restart my computer before playing. Okay. Restart your computer. And there you have it. That is how you fix Valorant FPS drops and lags. So I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.